We're here today for a celebration, first and foremost. We're celebrating 10 years of the GW4 partnership looking back on all the fantastic achievements we've made. But I think maybe more importantly than celebrating and looking back, we're also looking forward and we're challenging ourselves to say, what are we going to do in the next 10 years? How are we going to tackle big challenges like climate change, net zero? How are we going to tackle mental health and well-being challenges? How are we going to harness the power of digital technologies and techniques? And how can we really play our part in continuing to stimulate the creative industries uh, sector? So it's a pleasure to be here today with GW4 and to see that your strategy has such a strong focus on population health. As we know, health is determined by social determinants as well as the health services we provide. And to see this integrated approach, which takes account of both population health and clinical and health services research, is extremely important for the future. Remembering too that the climate crisis is all part of the things in which we need to intervene to improve health. The Western Gateway has a big focus on being a green energy powerhouse. We've got great leadership in this area. The universities have helped us with that leadership. We've got the highest number of climate experts in this area. Net Zero is a big opportunity for us. We're looking at hydrogen development, we're looking at nuclear opportunities, and we're looking at the power of the River Severn, the Severn Estuary. What are the tidal opportunities there for renewable energy? Quite exciting, and we're looking forward to working together on that. The GW4 area has a huge amount of digital startups and technology companies that are really at the forefront of the work that the UK is doing. The universities that sit behind those are where a lot of that research, a lot of those ideas come from. So it's incredibly important that both the research that's going on supporting those ideas, but also that students are being trained to kind of fill those jobs that are required now and will be required increasingly, not just by the digital sector, but by the aerospace sector in, in the Southwest, in the semiconductor industry, in the, and in the clean tech space as well. Well, it's great that the GW4 have come together and have included the creative industries in their strategy going forwards. We live in a time where young people are broadcast into the world on a daily basis, and yet we find it hard to find ways for them to get into our industry. So it's an area that's ripe for reinvention. It's an area that's ripe for research and scholarship. And I think it's an area that can actually make a change in the real world. Technical staff are a key component of delivering research. Alongside postgraduate researchers, alongside PIs, alongside the professional services staff, they're a key component of that, that group delivering team research, basically. Five years ago, I, I laid down the gourd that, to say, embrace the technician's commitment and really galvanize activity. And that has happened. So the profile of technical staff has really risen, which is fantastic. These are valued colleagues and need to be acknowledged within the ecosystem that delivers our research. It's been a big, big difference in comparison to five years ago. One of the things I love about GW4 is the way it brings different people together. So I've had conversations with vice chancellors and with early career researchers today from all four universities. Also some of our external partners. I've just been speaking to somebody from the National Trust. I've been speaking to people from UKRI, from various companies that collaborate with us. Some have collaborated with us for a long time, some are new partners. So it's about bringing together people with some common aims, but radically different experiences and contexts. I think that's the way that you make exciting progress is stepping outside of your normal world and, and working with people from different backgrounds. I am absolutely passionate about the power of partnerships. I think you can really only achieve big challenges like net zero if you work together. So to bring together places, policymakers, research, funders, innovation organisations and get people to come behind that common cause is really important. So it's fantastic to be here having those conversations today. GW4 is a, a kind of response to the enormity of the challenges we face and being collaborative and bringing together the combined capabilities of those universities is essential for these huge challenges we face. Individually, all of our universities are tremendous and they've got global reputations, but collectively, we are very powerful as a group of universities. You know, if we establish ourselves in that way, we can compete internationally with, with anybody. And I think that is the great potential of GW4.